We all know dinosaurs, from science class to the Jurassic Park and Land Before Time movies, and we're more than aware of crocodiles. Whether from going on vacation in the southern part of the United States or nature documentaries on public television. However, not a lot of people know that a crocodile that was as big as some giant dinosaurs once existed. This isn't science fiction, but a fact. During the middle to late Mycenaean era, the Purosaurus thrived in the northwestern part of Southern America, or Pan-Amazonia, specifically in the area where huge drainage basins, known as pebas, and acre mega wetland systems were established. The animal is well known from the substantial skull material in the Colombian Via Viea Formation, the Panamanian Culebra Formation, the Brazilian and Peruvian Amazon, and the Urmaco and Socorro Formations of northern Venezuela. Discovered and named by Yao Barbosa Rodriguez in 1892, the animal soon became known as one of the largest and most powerful freshwater predators ever. An adult Purosaurus brasiliensis skull length has been estimated at 1.2 meters. Its weight has been estimated at 8.4 metric tons. Its body length has been established between 11 and 13 meters, and its mean daily food intake has been estimated at 40.6 kilograms. With those factors, the skull's bite force has been concluded to be 69,000 newtons, which is around 7 metric tons force, being twice as powerful as the bite of a Tyrannosaurus and 20 times the strength of a Great White. Due to its large size and estimated strength, the adult Purosaurus may have been an apex predator in its habitat, having a variety of prey to choose from, including large vertebrates, while avoiding the competition. Purosaurus is also said to be the largest known crocodiliforms ever to have existed. Three other extinct crocodiliforms, Ceracosuchus, Dinosuchus, and Ramphosuchus, had similar but probably slightly smaller body sizes. Saracusus and Dinosuchus had similar proportions, but both were geologically much older, dating from the early and late Cretaceous period, respectively. Ramphosuchus lived around the same time as Purosaurus, but was also slightly smaller, had a more gharial-like snout, and lived in India. In the summer of 2005, a Franco-Peruvian expedition found new fossils of Purosaurus in the Peruvian Amazon. Analysis of a biometrical model of the skull of Purosaurus noted that it was capable of performing the death roll maneuver used by extant crocodilians to subdue and dismember their prey. According to experts, body length is a key factor in crocodilian feeding ecology, and that the proportional rate of different categories of food taken by crocodiles increased in relation to their length. Younger or smaller ones devour mostly on insects, fish, and mollusks. Once they grow to be big, it's snakes, turtles, mammals, and birds that are on their diet. The evolution of a large body size may have granted the Purosaurus many advantages, but it may also have made it vulnerable to the constant changes of its environment on a large geological scale, specifically in the Miocene, where the Andes Mountains were formed. The animal's maintenance must have demanded such unique and specific environmental and ecological conditions that it eventually became extinct while smaller animals adapted and lived longer. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, and comment below.